Hi guys. Okay, I'm back again. Hopefully my camera is going to behave itself. It's been kind of like trying to lean. Um, okay. I wanted to get like a thumbnail image of me being a little goofy because who says you can't have fun at 40, right? So I thought on the heels of my previous video where I talked about my dark eye skincare regimen that I do to try to combat dark circles, it would be a good idea to do a quick thing on concealer. And also because a friend of mine had asked me some questions about concealer and I just thought, well, we should just do a video. Ordinarily, if I'm putting on a full face of makeup, I would put on foundation first. But since I'm doing spoonie makeup, which is short term for I have to leave the house, but I don't want to do a lot of steps because I have a lot of like low energy. I will just put on concealer. So if you're concealing to get rid of dark circles, um, to brighten up your face, then you want a color that's going to be very uh, brightening. It's a lighter color. If you're concealing blemishes, then you want a color that's going to match your skin tone exactly. So most of the time you're going to need two colors of two colors of concealer. And the reason for that is that if you have a pimple, the last thing you want to do is put some brightening thing on it that's like saying, hey, look, I have a spot on my face, right? Um, but we want a brighter color to brighten up the face. It's sort of contouring, but without the darker color. And it's gonna bring parts of the face forward. It's gonna help you look more radiant, healthier, et cetera, et cetera. So um, when you're looking at concealers and the best place to test them normally is on the, the inside of your arm, unless you do some kind of like spray tan um, and your skin is really dark right here, then that probably wouldn't work. Um, you'd wanna test it on a spot on your body where it's gonna match your face. Like, match your face ish, but you want to always go a little bit lighter than your skin tone. Um, which for me can be a challenge because I'm incredibly pale. So my recommendation for concealer, um, is makeup revolution. Let me see if I can get it to show up with the lights. I buy this at Ulta, not sponsored, not affiliated, just, just my take. Uh, I buy it at Ulta and I like it because it's not one of their prestige brands, which means that you can use a coupon when you buy it. So I think it's like nine bucks. And then if you do a quick Google search for Ulta coupons, normally there's like a 350 coupon that pops up. So you can wind up getting it for right around $6. So if you need to get two colors, right, one for blemishes and one for your under eye, you're looking at 12 bucks, which is really, that's not bad at all for a good quality concealer. I am using color... C1, I don't have any kind of blemishes on my face right now, so I'm just straight up concealing for brightening. Um, and one of the questions that I have gotten from my friend Chi, hey Chi, who recently started wearing concealer, was that she had put it under her eyes and then she said she felt like the rest of her, it, it looked weird, right? It was too bright compared to the rest of her face. It just didn't look right. And the thing that most people, or a lot of people who don't wear makeup, don't know is that you want to conceal more than just under your eyes to make it look brighter and more natural. So we're, we're going to do that. I'm going to do that for you right now. So you'll need a brightening concealer and you're going to need a tool of some kind. So I use a makeup sponge. Um, you can get the, you can get these at drugstores or online or Ulta or wherever. I'll put links to these uh, in the description box down below, not affiliated at all. Just, this is what I use. Um, so you don't want to use your fingers when you're putting on concealer um, because you don't want to drag. If you drag, you're actually dragging the concealer down like, into your um, lines. And that's the reason why I don't use a brush. Lots of people use a brush very successfully. If you use a brush, you want to use a tapping motion. Don't do this. For whatever reason you put a brush in my hand, I do this. I, I blame the fact that I'm a painter in my real life. And so I just can't quite, I don't know, it's like muscle memory thing. So, all right. So here we are, clean face. I've put on my uh, under eye makeup. I've done my routine from my last video, which is the getting rid of dark circles uh, skincare routine, which I will link in this video. So you guys can take a look at it if you've not seen it. So let's get to concealing. 
Hi guys, you're probably noticing a little bit of a jump here, different clothes, different lighting. I apologize for this, but when I was reviewing my footage, I realized I didn't talk at all about why I don't bake. For those of you that don't know, baking is the process of putting powder onto the areas of the face that you've concealed. It locks the concealer into place, um, which is great if you're gonna be under a lot of hot lights, having photographs taken, or you're shooting a movie. Uh, it, it does create this very flawless, locked-in look. The reason why I don't bake is on the advice of my dermatologist. A while back, she and I were discussing my concerns about the fine lines that I was starting to get around my eyes. And because of my autoimmune disorder, a lot of chemicals are not really an option for me. And I really don't want to go the surgical route, which also probably would not be an option for me either, given my autoimmune problems. And she had recommended that I don't bake. She is of the firm belief that baking actually increases the fine lines around the eye area, just in general on the face, actually. This is one doctor's opinion. I am not saying that this is a 100% medical fact, but this is the reason why I don't bake. I thought it was important that I pass on what she said to you guys. If you love to bake, if baking is your jam, I would highly recommend you speak to a dermatologist about it, get their two cents. Lots of doctors are going to have different opinions, but I, I trust my dermatologist. I never really liked the way baking felt anyway. I rarely did it to begin with, uh, mostly because it just felt too heavy on my skin. And I'm also very sensitive to a lot of the powders out there. So it just seemed like more trouble than it was worth to me. But after talking to her, uh, I completely stopped ever baking. So this is why you will not see me bake in this video um, for what it's worth. Okay, let's get back to the actual video. All right. So I'm gonna try to come in close so you can see. So to start off with, you wanna do nice little dots. And I'm actually gonna take it out to the corner of my eye. So you can see, I kind of try to hit the middle because I'm gonna take, take the concealer down and up. Now I do one eye at a time. This is a leftover from when I used to use a concealer that dried really quickly. And the last thing you want is it setting in the little dots all over your face. So I'm taking it all the way down onto my cheekbone and kind of up into my brow bone a little bit. There we go. we go okay so let me come in close so you can see this is brighter right and I do have some redness on my skin today I was outside in the sun yesterday and even though I wear sunscreen every day like I, I clearly picked up a little bit of the sun um oops and there goes my camera again my apologies guys I'm having to shoot in kind of a weird way because it's a stormy day today and one of the light okay so you can see what my friend she was talking about. Like, definitely there is some odd, oh, for heaven's sakes, camera. Really? You guys are going to be like, what the heck, Bianca? Okay. Stay. It is a little odd. So now that I've done the under eye, I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit and put right there and right there and right there. And on the front part of my chin and right there. Okay. All right. Now, when I do the sides of the nose, I literally, I just go up like this. You want an upward motion. You want to stop before you get to the bone of the nose. Let me come in really close so you can see where I'm stopping. This is a contouring trick. All right. So basically what I'm doing is making my nose look thinner. <laughs> not that it, not, not that it needs it. Right. But just, okay. So again, I'm tapping it in kind of a lot of times we see concealer 
will like settle or break down right around the nose. Okay, now on the chin. Forehead. Now and the nose. This is where the smaller sponge is also very helpful. Is on the nose. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hit the brow the the bones here just to try to blend that in a little bit. Okay. There. Easy peasy. So now I don't, I'm not as red. And just looking at my face, for whatever reason, some days this, which it's the, they call, this is literally called like the jowls of the face, which is another terrible name, um, stands out more than others. And I think it has to do with my illness and how much sleep I've gotten and how much water I've drank, lots of things. So today I feel like they're really kind of, so I'm going to go ahead and ever so slightly So all I'm doing is lightening this up, which it's an optical illusion. The brain literally thinks when it sees something that's lighter, it thinks it's, it's closer. That's how our brain registered dis distance, right? The lighter the object, the closer it is to us is how it, it appears. So when we conceal these parts of our face, we aren't just hiding imperfections. We're also pushing things forward, right? Which can make the face appear more defined, thinner, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But that's also why if you just conceal under your eyes and you're using a, a brightening product, which you should do to help combat the dark circles, the rest of your face is going to look a little funky. So there we go. Take this off. Crazy headband hair. I'm going to come in really close. Let me just take this off of its stand and bring it in really close. So there you go. Okay. All concealed. So this is literally what I would do, or what I do do, on spoony days when I have to leave the house and go see people and I do not have enough energy to do a full face of makeup or... Right, this is literally like the bare minimum that I want to do when I'm going to leave the house. But I don't want to alarm people because I've literally, and I am sure as many of you other spoonies can attest to, have done the thing where I've left the house without any makeup on and seen people and then have to listen to them be horrified by how sick I look when it's just my natural face <laughs> that they're not used to seeing. So uh, this is the absolute bare minimum. Not bad. Not bad for a sick chick in her 40s, right? So there you go. Quick and easy tutorial on how to uh, conceal your face. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comment section down below. I will be sure to check back and let you know. And like I said, I'm going to list uh, the products that I used down below as well. Um, if you want other recommendations for concealers, let me know. I really like Makeup Revolution, but uh, if you want something a little on the higher end of the spectrum, or if it's too expensive for you and you want something on the lower end of the spectrum, let me know and I will come up with some other suggestions for you guys. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys are well rested and taking care of yourselves and remembering that self-care is the best kind of care there is. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.